Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. I'm Mark from Mixit Studios and in this video I wanted to talk a bit about some free VST plugin options that are out there. So in my last video I talked about getting the Focusrite Liquid Mix working under Windows 10 and within Pro Tools. As many of you will know, Pro Tools uses its own plugin format, which is the AAX format. So it can't run VSTs natively. Now, this was a problem for getting the Liquid Mix working in the latest version of Pro Tools, as the last version of the Liquid Mix plugin before it was discontinued was VST and RTAS, RTAS being the old plugin format that Pro Tools used to use. So I needed to find a way of getting VST plugins working in Pro Tools or the RTAS format working again. And the solution I found was a plugin called Blue Cat Patchwork, which allows you to use VST plugins in Pro Tools under the AAX format. And this was great as it allowed me to use the Liquid Mix plugin again, but it also got me thinking about what other plugin options might be out there available to me, as there are many plugins that are out there that are VST only or just aren't available in the AAX format. Particularly, there are quite a few hobbyist developers out there who make plugins for free and they don't, they're not necessarily going to pay the uh, licensing fees involved in releasing plugins in formats such as AAX, um, as I believe to make a plugin in the VST format, there aren't any sort of licensing fees involved. I could be wrong there, but certainly VST is the easier option to develop for, particularly for small or hobbyist developers. So in my search to see what might be out there available to me, I came across a hobbyist developer called Variety of Sound. You can Google for their website, but I will leave a link in the description below. Now they make a bunch of uh, mainly sort of analog style emulation. So emulating like various like hardware compressors um, and then analog style EQs and effects and so on. And um, there's a bunch of plugins that they've made and you can download all of them as a whole bundle. When I downloaded these quite a few years ago, uh, there weren't as many of them that they'd made and I don't think they you could download them as a bundle. So I don't have all of them that there, there are available available now on their website. Um, but the ones that I did download, I still find myself using years later in many of my mixes. And to be honest, I would quite happily pay money for them as many of them are as good as commercial options that are out there, like such as Waves or, or UAD. So I'm going to just mention a few of the plugins from this bundle that I really like, and then I'll try and show you some uh, examples of them in action, just running them on some uh, acoustic guitar that I recorded a while back. So my number one plugin from this bundle is the Boot EQ Mark II. This is a really cool uh, sort of color EQ. So it's not a transparent EQ, but that's definitely not the aim of it. It's meant to be a, a vintage kind of saturation style EQ that adds color to whatever you're putting it on. And it's great for that purposes. It's very natural sounding, so you can boost frequencies quite a lot and it, it still sounds natural and the saturation is is certainly not heavy-handed at all um, but I really like the way that you can dial it in uh, it's a tube style saturation and there's two different tube modes a vintage and a modern and then there's a drive knob so you can choose how much you're driving that tube saturation and it just yeah offers some really nice color to whatever you're putting on and it's one of my favorite eqs that i have second is the nasty dla delay this is a analog style delay um so yeah for that analog kind of delay where you get the nice sort of high filter roll off on the repeats um, it doesn't have any kind of tap tempo function but it has a bunch of different uh, timing modes uh, a ducking function which is quite cool it also has a built-in chorus which is cool and again it has some saturation style features so you can choose how much you're driving the uh, saturation on the roll off on the repeats of the delay which is really cool so yeah it's great for that vintage kind of analog style delay it's definitely not the one delay that you would have um, it's not a kind of 
all purpose delay for sure. But as a complementary delay, um, when you're looking for a particular sound, a particular type of delay, uh, it's definitely worth having in your Arsenal plugins. Next up is the Epic Verb. Um, this, whilst it's by far not going to win any awards for reverb plugins, and there are better reverb plugins that I own, um, I've definitely always struggle to find a good reverb plugin. When I am looking for reverbs, I'm usually either looking for something that is more kind of um, a natural like room style sounding reverb that whether it is a small room or a hall or a church or, or whatever kind of space you want to put something in um, is more just about where you're placing things in the mix and isn't kind of an obvious like effect style reverb. So I'm either looking for that general kind of ambience and placing things in a mix or I am looking for that more kind of obvious reverb effect uh, particularly you know if I'm doing something like that on a vocal um, so I don't find epic verb is great for that kind of thing you certainly can achieve that kind of reverb with it um, but I find it's more just kind of a useful tool for those, particularly the smaller room settings that it has on it, um, are quite nice to dial in just to, if you have, say, something you've recorded, like a guitar or something that's a little bit too dry, that you just need to give a bit more ambience and, and body to it and maybe push it a bit further back in the mix, make it less upfront sounding. It's great for that kind of thing. The plugin has a lot of parameter control, so you can really sort of dial in the reverb sound that you're looking for, and it has a lot of different early reflection types, as well as a built-in EQ, which is quite handy, as you don't have to reach for another EQ plugin on top of that on your reverb send necessarily. Uh, so that's always a nice feature to have in a reverb plugin. Last up is the Density Mark II compressor, which is a sort of vintage style compressor, like analog emulation type thing. There are a bunch of these uh, emulation style compressors in the plugin bundle. This is the only one that I have and have tried, but I'm definitely going to be checking out the other ones for sure. If you're looking for something quite relaxed but like saturated style compression it's definitely not my favorite compressor out of the plugins that i own but it's a nice option to have in my suite of plugins so yeah we'll take a look now at uh, some demos of these plugins just running through some acoustic guitar that i recorded so you can get an idea of what they sound like but i definitely recommend you download this plugin bundle, check it out for yourself, either if you're using a door that runs VSTs natively or if you own Blue Cat's patchwork and you're running Pro Tools. Uh, these are some great free options to have and hey, you know, they're free. So you may as well check them out.
big props to Variety of Sound. Um, yeah, these are great plugins. I really like them, particularly the Boot EQ Mark II. I use that all the time on my mixes. Uh, it's a great EQ. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and found this useful, and I'll see you in the next one.